guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new makeup tutorial i don't know what's going on with me lately but i just cannot get enough of color i've just been obsessed with having fun with my makeup again i've been super super inspired and today i decided to actually recreate a look from one of my favorite youtubers her name is i love sarah e i will insert the picture here on where i got the inspo from when i was getting ready to film today i knew i wanted to play with blues i just didn't know what look i was going for so i remember seeing a picture that karen posted a long time ago and the look just kind of stuck with me and i was like okay I'm gonna recreate that one day and I guess I just never got to it. So her look featured a really cool ombre eyeliner which I have not done on my channel and the look was incorporating colors like teals and mints and deep blues. So I really hope I did the look justice. I mean, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. And again, I was basing the look around a picture. I wasn't able to see like the complete lower lash line that she had on in the photos. So I kind of just went with what I was feeling and this is pretty much how it came out. So yeah, I hope today's video kind of inspires you guys to all also play with color. I've been having so much fun with it lately and just so excited to share this look with you guys. As always, before we get into today's video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload a video. All right, and without further ado, if you wanna see how to get this makeup look, just keep on watching. All right, you guys, we're switching it up today with a voiceover. Starting off with a clean face, I'm first gonna go in with primer. Today, I'm taking the Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. This one is really nice because it not only hydrates, but also primes the skin, leaving you a really glowy finish. It's also infused with kombucha, and it just felt so nice. This was my first time trying it, and I really, really like it. So now I'm gonna go in with my second primer. This one is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty, and I'm gonna apply this to the center of my skin, really focusing on where the largest amount of pores are, as well as my texture. I always like to layer up my primers to get the best finish possible when applying my foundation. And I'm gonna go ahead and prime the eyes using my P. Louise eyeshadow base in the shade Rumor 2. I always like to dot this on and then I'll go in with my Morphe M173 brush and begin to buff it out. I love this brush for blending out thick products such as this. Such an amazing, amazing brush to work with. So now I'm gonna reach into my little custom neutral palette and I'm gonna take this matte bone shade and really set that base in. Next, I'm gonna go in with Max Soft Brown, which is a perfect kind of rosy muted brown transition color. And I'm gonna work this in the crease using my handy dandy Morphe M510 brush. I love this brush because it's so big and fluffy. It's basically like a jumbo sized blending brush. And it just helps make your eyeshadow blending so much quicker, guys. So, so much quicker. With simple looks like this, definitely, definitely try switching over to a bigger brush. It makes such a difference. Over here, I'm just taking Brown Script by MAC, which is just a more red-based brick brown and working that pretty much in the same areas, just trying to keep the color a little bit lower. So now I'm gonna go back in with my P. Louise eyeshadow base and just brighten up that lid area. I like to dot it on first and then go in with a synthetic blending brush and work in little padding motions to really get as much pigment as possible. Now I'm mixing Bone and Yogurt by MAC and I'm gonna apply that with a flat shader brush onto the lid area just to really set that base and brighten it up. Now I'm gonna go back in with Brown Script on a smaller blending brush and work this on the outer corner of the eye, really just tucking it into that outer V area to give us a lot of definition. Quickly just going over everything one more time to give it a nice soft finish and now we're gonna begin with our eyeliner. So I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Liner in the shade Black as Black. I'm taking this on my Morphe M250 brush, which is the perfect tiny little liner brush for creating a snatch wing. And as always, just working from the outer corner, working my way towards the inner corner. If you want to see an in-depth video on how I do my liner, I will link it down in the description box below. <music> 
So we're gonna leave the eyes here for now. I'm quickly just gonna clean up my winged liner with a little bit of a makeup wipe, and then we're gonna get into the skin portion. For foundation today, I'm gonna take the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation, and mine is in the shade Sand Beige, and I like to dot this on and then blend it in with my Real Techniques foundation brush. I've been reaching for this foundation non-stop ever since I used it in my last video, and I'm just so obsessed with it, guys. I see what the hype is, and I see why it's so many people's favorite drugstore foundation. I'm just so happy I gave it another shot because now I can put it down. Now for concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. This is still my favorite concealer from the drugstore. It's full coverage with a luminous finish and just wears so beautifully throughout the day. So I'm so excited that I get to try these two products together and they really, really do look beautiful. I'm focusing the concealer mostly on the center areas of the skin. And then for the very center of the under eye, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this Dose of Colors Concealer, which is just a brighter shade to really help with highlighting. I'm then going to clean up right under my wing using a flat defining brush just to make our job a little bit easier when blending out the concealer. To blend out, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Camo Sponge. You guys know this is my favorite sponge for under eye concealer. It's so soft and bouncy. Definitely give this a try if you haven't already. It's a really great beauty blender dupe. So now for face powder, I'm gonna go in with my other obsession, which is my number seven face powder. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder, I believe, which I've never tried before, but I personally love this powder in specific. I've been looking for something so lightweight like this, so absolutely, absolutely love that product. Now we're gonna warm up the skin with a little bit of Maybelline City Bronzer. I'm using the shade 300, which is the warmest of the three shades. And I was a little self-tanned in these clips, so this shade works perfectly for me. And I've just been loving that bronzy look. To apply the bronzer, I'm using the Morphe M527 brush. And then around my forehead area, I went in with the Morphe M437, which is just a little bit more precise. So now we're gonna get into baking and I'm taking my favorite little concoction, which is my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Fair Light. And then I'm going in with the Morphe Highlight and Contour Sponge. Guys, I finally know what the sponge is called, but it's basically the one with the flat edge to it. And it just makes your job so much easier when going in and doing some precision cleaning. It's just so, so easy to work with. For blush, I'm gonna go in with Max Peaches, just a cult favorite and really warming up the cheekbones. Lately, I've been applying my blush just everywhere, basically focusing it from the outer corner to the inner corner and buffing it out. So now we're gonna begin to add those pops of blue onto our eyeshadow look. And I'm first gonna mix this teal and white frosty shade to create a baby blue and apply that to the inner corners of the eyes with a pencil brush. Now, to create our ombre, I'm literally just using three eyeshadows, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my liner brush, spritz it with some setting spray, and begin to glide the shadow right over the black wing that we created. And you basically just wanna keep doing this with all three shades, just lightly blending right over each other to create a really smooth ombre. Now, obviously you can make this a lot more intense if you kind of created a thicker wing or use a little bit of like a teal glitter over everything, but I wanted to keep this as simple and beginner friendly as possible, just using shadows I already owned to create that really cool effect. On the outer corner, I'm gonna go in with a more kind of deeper teal shade and really just fill in the outer edge of the wing, making sure to blend as I go. So now I'm gonna go in with a tapered fluffy brush and just dust off any excess powder. Now I'm gonna go in with this LA Girl setting spray and just give myself a light first coat to really help melt all those powders and liquids together. I like to do this in between doing my makeup, especially when I'm feeling super dry. On the lower lash line, I'm basically gonna take the same colors that I used on the crease, which were soft brown and brown script, and just buff from inner corner to outer corner. For the waterline, I'm gonna go in with Max Costa Riche. This is a beautiful brown with like a red base to it. So gorgeous for everyday wear and looks really beautiful with brown eyes. 
So next I'm just gonna go in with my lash curler and really give my lashes a good curl. This really helps to give my false lashes a nice base to sit on top of and just makes blending them so much easier. For mascara, I'm gonna go in with the Essence I Heart Extreme. I've really been enjoying this one as well since my last tutorial and just applying a quick coat. For lashes, I'm going in with Beauty Creations, I Can't Even. This has been my holy grail lash, I mean, for about three months now. They are just the perfect amount of wisp and length for my eye shape, and I love that they really allow my eyeshadow and liner to still be seen and don't completely take over my eye look. So now I'm just gonna do another coat of that setting spray and begin to prep my lips for my lip color. For lip liner, I'm gonna go in with the KKW Nude 2 Lip Liner. I love how deep this is because it really helps to create a really pretty effect when I'm doing my kind of nude lip combo. And because this liner is so creamy, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a lip brush and just begin to kind of diffuse the inner edges of the liner just so I get a really nice smooth ombre effect going on. For my lip color, I'm going in with my favorite lip cream. This is the Sephora Matte Liquid Lip in the shade 32. I love this lip cream. It's so comfortable, so easy to work with, so easy to blend, and the color payoff is just amazing. I mean, this is definitely like my favorite formula, which is why I'm always using it, so sorry I can't get enough of it, guys, but there are just so many fun colors within this collection, and they're just so beautiful on the lips, and the price range is just right. To top off the lip, I'm gonna go in with this Beauty Creations gloss in the shade Foxy. This one is more of like a muted, rosy nude shade, really, really pretty over this lip combo. I just cannot get enough of how comfortable these glosses are. Definitely one of my favorites as well. For highlighter, I'm gonna go in with the ABH X Omrezy Highlighter. I know this isn't available anymore, but I do know that Revlon makes a really great dupe for this. It's part of their Skin Lights Highlights collection, and I believe it's the lightest shade. It's like the exact same color, so definitely check that out if you can't get your hands on this one. But again, just applying this to the apples of my cheeks, as well as the tip of my nose, my chin, and a little bit on my forehead. All right, so now we're just gonna do a last coat of setting spray and really gouge the skin in this to give us a nice dewy finish and we are all set. All right, you guys, so that is it for today's makeup look. If you enjoyed today's video and you learned something new, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. I love you guys and I will see you on my next video.